गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ फारूल शर्मा योर साइंस टीचर कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर बींग प्रोमोटेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास स्टे सेफ एंड हेल्दी प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई वीडियोज एंड पुश नोटिफिकेशन बेल आइकन फॉर फर्दर अपडेट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद चैप्टर वन ऑफ साइंस सोर्सेज ऑफ फूड food as we all know we need food to live and grow food is anything so anything that animals eat or absorb in order to maintain life and growth we all want food to live and grow we get energy from food and it is also required for a growth development and repair of body the functions of food the main functions of food are it helps in growth and repair of worn out tissues food provides nutrients for the manufacture of enzymes and hormones for building of new cells and tissues it provides energy to our body and it protects the body from diseases and keeps it fit and healthy the food we eat it should be healthy and in proper proportion because if we eat good food we have good health and it all ultimately leads to a good life different people in india eat different food on the basis of their food organisms or basically the human beings they are classified as vegetarians and non vegetarians vegetarians are the people who eat only plant or parts of plant non vegetarians the people who eat plant as well as animal products are called as non vegetarians vegetarian diet includes uh, mainly your fruits vegetables and stem root leaf of flower, uh, plants and non vegetarian diet it includes meat eggs fishes and seafood now on the uh, basis of the food habits the organisms they are classified into two types autotrophs and heterotrophs auto means self and trophos means feeding therefore autotrophs autotrophs means the organisms which make their own food like all green plants they can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis so the green plants only they are called as autotrophs next are heterotrophs the living organisms which depend on autotrophs directly or indirectly for their food are called as heterotrophs they are also called as consumers for example animals and human beings now on the basis of the eating habits of heterotrophs they can also be divided into various categories first herbivorous animals herbivorous animals they are the animals which eat plant and plant products for example rabbit goat camel cow sheep etc the carnivorous animals animals which eat flesh or meat of other animals are called as carnivorous animals like lion tiger vulture wolf etc next omnivorous animals they are the animals which eat both plants and animals and their products for example dog cat crow bear they all are omnivorous scavengers some organisms they eat dead animals or the flesh of dead animals they are called as scavengers example are vultures crows hyenas and jackals then insectivorous animals insectivorous are the insect eating animals like frog lizard spider they all eat insects to satisfy their hunger next are parasites they are the animals which dip, depend on other animals for their food for example mosquito bug leech 
दे कैन लिव आउटसाइड और इन साइड द बॉडी ऑफ अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स लास्ट आर दम्पोजर्स दे आर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच फीड ऑन डेड मैटर मीन्स डेड प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स फंजा एंड बैक्टीरिया आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डिकम्पोजर्स ना हर्बी वोरस एनिमल्स दे हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड लॉन्ग लेग्स एंड कार्निवोर्स दे हैव शार्प एंड शार्प टीथ एंड क्लॉज then omnivorous animals they have the qualities of both herbivorous and carnivorous animals decomposers as i have told you earlier they eat on dead organisms to obtain their energy and they help in putting the nutrients back into the soil for example fungi and bacteria now food this the food we eat where does it comes from the main sources of food are plants and animals staple food staple food is the food item which is consumed by most of the people in a region is called as staple food the staple food of asia is rice the the main sources of food it includes plants and animals plants as we all know the green plants they can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis and that's why they are called as producers and animals they obtain food from plants and they can also eat the meat and flesh of other animals and therefore they are called as consumers now plant fruits vegetables spices beverages all these items come from plants the milk come from cows the bread comes from wheat the pork or the meat comes from the flesh of various animals plant uh, parts just such as stems root leaves fruits flowers seeds they all are eaten and that's why they are consumed by the most of the people in india animal products like honey milk and milk products meat eggs and seafood these are the products which we obtain from animals in plants also in one or the other way all the parts of the plant are consumed like stems asparagus celery leaves cauliflower uh, cabbage roots carrots radishes seeds corn beans and flowers and cauliflowers all the parts we can eat and we should eat to stay fit and healthy the some a uh, food it comes from animals like your meat fish or uh, milk or dairy products like cheese curd these all comes from animals our next topic is food chain what is a food chain a food chain is a path by which energy passes from one organism to another it is a linear sequence of food energy from producers to consumers we all know the producers are the green plants and the organisms which consume uh, green plants are called as consumers the food chain it always starts from green plants and ants at top consumers mostly the carnivores like in this figure the grass is eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by rat rat is eaten by the uh, koala and then eagle eats koala and then eagle is also eaten by the top carnivore and then 
the uh, carnivore uh, is when it becomes dead it parts it uh, the decomposers help in putting back the those nutrients back into the soil that's all for the day hope you like this thank you